Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Inspired Art. I'm gonna be working on this nice 24 inch round canvas today and I'm going to again use my acrylic inks. I've got them set up here so you can see them and we're working with just three colors today for my inks. I've never used these color combinations before, so I thought I'd try it. <laughs> We've got a red, a carbon black, and a silver. Of course, I think those colors will look really nice together. I just haven't worked with the inks together like that. I did mix up my bottles this time instead of pouring it in a cup. And it looks like the red is, you know, mixed with the Floetrol. It looks really pink. So I'm hoping that it's not going to dry pink, but it will dry, hopefully, red. Um, but if not, we'll see how it looks. And then I've got my black and my silver. And so I just mixed up just a little bit to see if I liked it. And hopefully it'll come out really nice looking. I am going to do something a little different on my background. I'm going to spread around a gray house interior paint. Was left over from a long time ago. I'm going to use this on this canvas. But then I'm also going to use, while I'm drawing my design, I'm going to use my white on my base to help blow it out. So I think with the gray, it's going to be a very, very thin layer. And I'm probably just going to pour this on and twirl it around to try to get this covered. I may even just paint it on because I don't want a real thick layer of the gray because then I'm going to pour on top of that my white so I'll have like a white leaf background versus the gray. Just wanna see how that will look and how they'll mix together. Not quite sure if it's going to work, but I'm thinking with these color choices, having a gray background will look pretty nice, so. So now I have my house paint that I'm going to draw my design with. I'm gonna put this on a little bit thicker, or more of it, I should say, within my design, so it can, I can use this color as my base for how I'm blowing it out, and that will be my background of my leaf. I don't know what this is gonna look like. I've never done it this way before. quite a bit of this on it because I need it to flow. All right, so I think that's a good looking design.
was definitely more of a challenge and if I did it over again I would definitely put down a little bit more paint maybe the white paint underneath um, something to help it flow a little bit better the acrylic inks I think are so fun to work with I'm enjoying it I'm gonna put this obviously looks like a flower so I am definitely going to put a focal point right there in that middle of the flower it just came out so pretty so take you down for a close-up while it's still wet and then when it dries I will show you the dried results at the end of this video all right guys here we are here's the wet results we just finished and whoa <laughs> look at her Oh my goodness, I sure hope she dries beautiful. She's definitely not moving anymore because she's staying put. There's no dripping over the sides. I think having that gray background and the way I did it really makes this pop so much. It's almost like 3D looking. It's super cool. It's almost like, oh wow, it just looks 3D almost. It's so cool. It's almost like I had it draw, I had the design and I slapped it on the background, like it was separate. That's the way it's looking right now. It's so cool. We'll see how it dries and I'm pretty sure it's gonna look so pretty. Look at that design. That one right there is just about all dried. That was on a 20 by 20 inch canvas right there. So that one was another acrylic pink. So if you haven't seen that video, that one will be posted on my channel as well. She's almost dry. But yeah, guys, look, I'll zoom you in. Some of those leaves are just really beautiful. I really do like using these acrylic 
pinks. I can mix different colors too together. And oh my goodness, I'm just having so much fun. so that's about it for me for today can't wait to see this one dried and as soon as it's dried I'll have it at the end of this video so stay tuned guys hey everyone I'm back with this beautiful painting and she is completely dried she's like completely dried and she dried overnight I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see all the details. But I think she dried just beautiful. It's amazing, I really love it. And I think this piece for composition, to me, I wanna hang it just like this. So not quite center like that, but I like it like this, where these petals right here are just lining downward. And then these petals are curved a little bit. So that's what we have. I think she came out really pretty. The red did come out in areas, it did come out nice and deep and dark and then in other areas it came out more of a pinkish color but the combination looks amazing now what i'm going to do is do something a little further i actually started this morning i outlined with my paintbrush and the black ink I started outlining this petal and this petal a little bit more. Now I want to outline a few more petals selectively and it'll just help bring that contrast of that flower a little bit more. And it's something more I can do to this painting, which I always love to do. So that is it so far guys we're going to film this how i do this outline right now so hang tight guys so you can see it all right guys we're getting ready to do some more of the outlining just like i did on this one and i just use this very very thin paintbrush it is a size Let's see, this is a size zero. <laughs> so I'm using a very, very, very fine, like a liner brush. And I'm just going to outline using my carbon black acrylic ink. So here we go. Kind of need a nice steady hand. You could basically make it as thick as you want. But I think sometimes it just adds to it. And my hands are a little shaky. I just had some coffee. So maybe not a good idea to have coffee and then try to do some outlining. Let's see, I did that one and that one. I kind of want to form, there's like two leaves right here. I kind of want to make this one big leaf and you can do that by just doing a fine outline so let me see if that'll work start I could even do it 
with a pin too. I'm going to drag it towards the circle. You just hold your paintbrush a little looser if you have shaky hands. Just a little looser and it helps you to drag it through. But there, I, I've i got that. I can clean up that edge right there that I don't care for. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that in a minute. I really like using these inks helps with some cleanup areas too. And it really helps you to make some fine lines if you don't have a shaky hand. And this ink, once you lay it down, it's permanent. You cannot get it up with water or alcohol. It's permanent. So make sure <laughs> when you're doing something like this, you know you're going to like it. That's all I recommend is going to work with it and make sure it's something that you definitely want on there. Otherwise, you will have to either paint over it or accept how it looks. there. So one, two, three. And I kind of want to do this one. And then one more down here. Maybe this one right here. So I'll have one, two, three, four, five. Five leaves, which will look really good. I like odd numbers, not even numbers. Um, different elements that I incorporate. I just think they look better. I think our eyes and our brain likes to see things different, not always the same. And so when you see things a little different, I think it'll make you look at your painting a little bit longer. And then you start enjoying the details that much more too. Hey guys, I'm back with this painting. She's completely finished. I did go ahead and outline the outer leaves in a white paint. I thought it really just made those leaves pop a little bit more. I also painted the center with black ink, 
But all in all, I just love her. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And until we meet again, stay tuned for more on my YouTube and my social media accounts. Love y'all. Have a great week.